Hello and welcome back. We're doing E flat majors today. Three flats, B flat, E flat and A flat at key signature. It's the same on the way up as it is on the way down because it's a major scale. Yeah. So during, during the scale you have a low first finger throughout. The lowest two strings you have a high fourth finger. The highest two strings you have a low fourth finger. So that's predictable enough but the challenge today is the fact that you only have one beat per note. That means you have to look forward. You don't have time to hesitate because music keeps going forward. Yeah. So on the way back, definitely make sure that you float your finger pattern above the string you're going to be using. So you can drop two, three and four at the same time in the right place onto the next string. Yeah. I've mentioned this technique for quite a few videos now, also in a few the last few scales I've mentioned it to prepare in the air because things are getting fast and it's a useful skill to have it will help you play in tune much faster yeah don't ignore it preparation is everything if you want a nice intonation you have to look forward to what is going to happen don't just think about what is happening of course you have to pay attention to the intonation but you can't just be stagnant forward be prepared and then things become a lot easier than you would expect yeah anyway uh yeah i'm just playing quavers straightforward you play one beat per note i play two notes per beat so twice as many notes as you do so just wait until i'm done with my two notes and now we continue together to the next note on and on here we go so let's find that first note c <laughs> first finger is D and then we have a E flat low second finger now if you want you can prepare a low first finger on to the next string because we're going to need that there and that's what I mean with look forward then you're prepared you don't have to worry about it anymore anyway here we go one and two and three and four and So that is very straightforward, just quavers all the way through, except for the last note, obviously when we finish together. Um, try not to get distracted, pay attention to the intonation, and uh, yeah, once you control it, once you're ready for all the string changes and the finger patterns and all that stuff, start paying attention to the relaxation. I will keep on repeating this in pretty much every single video, because that's the key to moving forward. Don't ignore your foundations, because at some point, if you start ignoring it, a lot of little tensions will creep up on you and you're going to have to unlearn that. And that takes a lot more energy than just paying attention now and then to what am I doing with my shoulders, what am I doing with my thumbs, yeah. So relax and enjoy and let's speed things up.